Hey, what's going on everybody? Robert Marzula here with Ram Studio Comics, bringing you another video. And on this video, the topic today is Manga Studio 5EX. Uh, I've got a couple of these now, and this one is going to cover layers and shortcut commands, uh, and just generally how I'd use it to produce comic book work. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the main thing that I would say is, you know, when you're working with layers is try to keep them organized. Um, one good thing about Manga Studio organization is really nice because for one it keeps all your documents uh, this is going to be a 22 page uh, book 24 by the time you add the cover and opening page of Blackstone Eternal book 2 uh, I've already got book 1 out you can pick it up at Indie Planet uh, be sure to check that out support your local artists you know all that good stuff but and by local I mean the internet you know because who knows where I live right but uh at any rate, so what you do is it keeps all these pages in here nice and organized for you, and you can output this to a single PDF, which is great for like making digital comics, print on demand comics, whatever your uh, your cup of tea is. So having that ability to keep it all organized, you know, bounce back and forth from page to page, uh, digitally draw and then ink and throw your word balloons in there, uh, pretty freaking cool if you ask me. And then um, you know, like on this one, I'm still penciling, and it's not the greatest page, but I'm working on it. Um, but, you know, like, having that ability to keep it all together in one document, bounce back and forth, and see your progression is fantastic. And then going to each um, um, file, page, whatever, and then going over to here to your layers and keeping them separated... Uh, basically by the frames or panels however you want to call them and even like this see I got frame 5 there and there's a sketch of black so as he's telling bot you know like yeah take the ship out let's let's do this or whatever I'm not gonna get into the story of what's going on there but uh, I'll bring that down and keep them even in in order as far as you know one two three I'm missing four but it's basically him just sitting here slumped over all ticked off um, dang it I got an alien on my back this sucks you know whatever so we go here there's frame 3 frame 2 and see how I got each one of those where I can just click off them with the eyedropper to or I say eyedropper sorry eye tool visible layer tool and if I open each one of those up I got a few individual layers inside there there's the uh, panel or border around that there's uh, majority of the sketch and some of my uh, perspective lines that I threw in to start drawing over top of that. So the beauty of using these uh, folders, and you can get to those right down here, see that new layer folder and then name it, uh, new raster and vector layer, which I always use raster. Uh, it's kind of silly, I want to do a little shout out to Manga Studio, the creators, if you're listening. Uh, here's an idea, really cool that you made vector layers, but you can't export vector layers from this into another vector program or as a vector so yeah kinda kinda creepy there guys so any, at any rate uh, raster layers are just fine for what we're doing here for drawing uh, comics and artwork and digital stuff uh, vector layers are just gonna give you more control to change like line work on the fly and stuff like that so uh, if you're not exporting it to be a vector I don't I don't really see the pertinence there but um, but back to this, you know, so you can create these layer groups, you can condense them down and keep your artwork real organized and easy to access and change uh, areas of it on the fly. So a lot of versatility there. Um, now, another thing would be shortcut commands, you know, and um, this has a lot of great ones. Um, one of the reasons I jumped over to the Manga Studio bandwagon, if you will, is the ability to uh, early on in the software to rotate your screen. So guess what? R is rotate, bada bing, you just start spinning that sucker around and it's amazing. It is awesome. It is scrum the lesson. Um, because for me I have to be able to draw a certain way. Um, I, I don't know how to explain this. I basically have to downward pull a lot of the strokes that I do when I'm drawing sounds weird but um, I can't draw side to side really well you know not without getting kind of a funky line there um, 
so I've always turned my page and moved it around so when I first started drawing digitally it really bothered me when I couldn't turn the page well with the software turn the page is as easy as turning the page so you just hit R you get the little rotate key it's over here off to the side hit H for hand or just click up here where it says hand and you can move it around this way so there's a lot of versatility in the way that you can move this page around and get nice clean lines like if I was drawing Blackstone's profile here I'd rotate the page like this I would zoom in which I actually have a, a roller uh, ball mouse and it actually works in conjunction with that or you can just grab the zoom key if you hover it over it hover over it sorry it's gonna show you that that little bracket key is the the zoom shortcut and you can change those two under your preferences but you click there and it's got a nice interactive zoom so say I want to zoom in on his face here and P for pencil and and actually if you hit P twice it'll bounce back from pencil to pen so that's nice too so pencil right there and I can get in here and start drawing you know, it's, I'm already pretty much done drawing this one but say I want to change the um, uh, thickness of the lines around it I'll go in there and draw a little bit more and now with that interactive zoom, say I want to jump from here down to the bottom uh, um, bottom panel. I can pull, pull back and zoom like that, position it over the, uh, the other frame here, and zoom in. So you can move around these pages really fast. Hit R for rotate, H for hand, move it around, you know, and just kind of, you start getting really fast with it. Like me, you can't see what I'm doing, but I have my left hand over the drawing tablet, and then I have my right hand on the keyboard and that's how I flow that's how I operate so really cool shortcut commands for that now other ones that are good to to know about uh, I don't know how you guys uh, do your work but I'll just go through a couple of them control A is select everything right control D is deselect so if you've got this selection tool over here this marquee tool and you click around something say I'm trying to grab this little part right there you know, and you got a lot of little shortcut, you know, resize, uh, deselect, all that good stuff in there, uh, tonal values, you know, whatever, shrink selection, all that. But you can grab this, you could hit Control T, and it's going to give you the ability to resize this panel. Actually, I don't know if I'm over that actual frame, which is frame one, two, three, four. Where is frame four? Oops, cancel. Oh, it's asking me to apply it. Yes. Um, all right, that's labeled for panel two when it's not. Um, panel four. Okay, so now if I hit Control T, another cool shortcut command, I can interactively size this guy right to where I need him. You know, if I want to make this, you know, I can rotate him by clicking outside of it, rotating around. If I don't like any of it, I just hit Escape and it didn't take, and I'm good to go. Control D and it deselects. You know, just real easy, real, real quick stuff to know. Um, what else? What's another one that I use a lot? Oh, the brush options. Like, say you got this pencil here, your ink tool here, which I pretty much just use the G pen, either one of those. And say you're drawing something, you know, you got a little smiley face, he's happy. No, he's mad. He's mad. And you want to get out of there. Control Z, that's your best friend with the software, any of them. And this does have multiple Control Zs that you can control. Uh, the amount of based on your system's performance and what it can handle but it also has the bracket keys so these bracket keys which I can't show you on the keyboard but just in case I'm saying this wrong that's what the bracket keys look like there's one there's the other okay and those are above like the inner key up to the left a little bit so now what's cool about the bracket keys and the brushes and the, the pencil and pen and all that is this there's what I'm drawing with now right and I want a thicker brush I hit the right bracket key and you can see it over here see it interactively moving the point size or whatever so just within a short amount of time you can grab the pen that you want or you know the size of the same pen uh, with those bracket keys so that's that's something I really dig about this software and actually to tell you the truth I think that's in almost all of them now uh, so try that depending on whatever software you're using that might be more of just a unified Windows command with uh, drawing softwares but it's it's awesome it really helps you move faster without coming over here and clicking and then bring back over here and test drawing you can do that really quick on the fly with those bracket keys so 
All right, uh, what else? I think I've explained this before, but just so you know, like say if you're building over top of your layers, uh, what's really neat about Mango Studio, uh, and this isn't, this actually isn't uh, this way in a lot of softwares, and that's why, you know, you can really tell that they built Mango Studio to be a drawing software, um, or to be for a comic book artist. And this is why, one, one quick easy thing. Right here, you can take that layer, and just by coming up here and hitting that layer color, which it's already defaulted to a blue, converts that to a blue line. So now you add another layer over top of that, or whatever, name it, you know, Blackstone, all depressed, pencil layer. Now you can start drawing over top of that and get your next, you know, uh, I always use layers to kind of clean up my artwork. That to me is, you know, it's the effect of like working on a light table, but I basically will rough in my first couple layers, very rough, and kind of see where I want to go with the drawing. And then by the time I get to my more finalized pencil layer, uh, I'm really trying to clean up the artwork and just worry more about line clarity and, you know, maybe line uh, uh, density or, or thickness or whatever. But just that ability to click that button right up there and Im immediately go to a blue line is fantastic. You have to do other workarounds and, and other softwares like add a layer effect or um, create another layer in the way and set that to uh, screen or multiply or something like that. So just these other things that take a little bit more time where on this one it's just I mean almost immediately you can do that. Well it is immediate. You just click that you know button up there. So I really like the effect that they did that for artists. Uh, makes it quick from going from your sketch to your your inks or whatever you know or your sketch to your uh, pencil layers and things like that. So Alright, well, I don't want to get too lengthy with this video. Hopefully that covered some things that you were wondering about. And, you know, hopefully there's, uh, you know, more that you'll want to know. And you can drop that in the comments section below. And then I will respond. I do a video a week at least at this point. And then I will go through it, try to update and, you know, answer your questions. And, you know, show you new and crazy things that you maybe wanted to know or maybe never thought you uh would care to know or whatever you know I'll just try to constantly update and bring you new stuff basically so this is Robert Marzullo with Ram Studios check out the Blackstone Eternal comic you can get that on Indie Planet uh, and uh, feel free to subscribe and like and let me know what you think so I can uh, keep better in this channel because you know what it's all about you the viewer and I mean that from the bottom of my heart so, anyways, just kidding. Um, I do mean it, though. So take care of yourself. Keep drawing. Keep having fun. And talk to you soon. Bye-bye.